seven key sectors to tap into China's next-gen tech opportunities. Today we're diving into health technology. In today's shifting global pharmaceutical landscape, China's innovative drug industry is rising at an unprecedented pace, attempting to bring better health to its 1.4 billion people and opening new chapters in global disease treatment. This isn't just a stunning transformation for one country's pharmaceutical sector. It has the potential to be a major milestone in humanity's fight against disease. What's more, China's large patient population offers a unique advantage for clinical trials, helping to accelerate new drug development. At the same time, Chinese drug manufacturers' strengths in large-scale production and cost control are seeking to help make high-quality drugs more affordable for patients worldwide. This goes beyond industrial upgrading. It represents a dedicated effort from China to global health. It's about working to ensure innovative treatments reach as many patients as possible and making quality health care a shared benefit for all. Another industry is embracing the China speed. In the first half of this year, 43 innovative drugs were approved for marketing. What does 43 mean? It not only sets a new record for the same period in previous years, but also nearly matches the total of 48 innovative drugs approved throughout last year. As policies, capital, R&D, and clinical research work in synergy, the innovative pharmaceutical industry is approaching a crucial turning point. A decade ago, anyone talking about innovative drugs in China would likely have been met with skeptical looks from peers and dismissive glances from foreign companies. Developing a drug from R&D to commercialization involves at least five stages and usually takes over a decade, making the innovative pharmaceutical industry a typical sector with long cycles, high investment, and high risks. By contrast, the business logic for generic drugs is far simpler. Once the 20-year patent protection period of an innovative drug expires, any company can produce its generic version. With lower investment, shorter time to market, and more guaranteed success rates, the industry was rife with a quick money mindset focused on generic drug production. However, this led to a harsh reality. Innovative drugs with better efficacy were long monopolized by imported products. Chinese people distrusted domestic drugs, yet couldn't afford imported ones. So how to break through the iron barrier hindering the development of China's innovative pharmaceutical industry? The answer lies in launching a three-pronged reform covering the pharmaceutical industry, hospitals, and medical insurance, using policy support to nurture industrial growth. Thus, the decade-long transformation of China's innovative pharmaceuticals, shifting from unregulated expansion to quality first, officially began. This year has seen a steady stream of supportive policies for the innovative pharmaceutical industry. Earlier this year, the General Office of the State Council released an opinions document clearly stating the strategic goal of building a globally competitive innovation ecosystem. The key phrase here is globally competitive. Additionally, the National Healthcare Security Administration plans to release the Category C drug list within the year, providing new support for the innovative drug payment system. In July, the National Health Commission went a step further by proposing 16 specific measures targeting key areas like R&D, market access, and payment, from following and imitating to independent original R&D, Chinese pharmaceutical enterprises have fought a remarkable turnaround in just a decade, backed by policy support and capital investment. Today, China has emerged as the global leader in innovative drug R&D, based on statistics of innovative drugs entering clinical trials for the first time. By the end of last year, the cumulative number of original innovative drugs developed by domestic enterprises reached 3,575, with 704 new innovative drugs added throughout the year, officially surpassing the United States to rank first globally. Today, China has successfully shifted from relying on importing overseas intellectual property to achieving reverse output. Overseas licensing has become a key driver for the development of innovative pharmaceutical companies. Last year, there were 126 overseas licensing deals for domestic innovative drugs, involving a total amount of 52.577 billion US dollars, a year-on-year -year increase of 27.39%. So far this year, according to incomplete statistics, over 50 projects have secured license-out deals, with a total transaction value approaching 100 billion yuan, already far exceeding last year's full-year figure. 
What lies behind these figures? It's the foresight of national strategies, the dedication of countless researchers. A decade ago, no one could have imagined where China's new drug R&D would be today. But in the next decade, we must dare to dream and dare to achieve even greater things. This is a true reflection of the current state of China's innovative pharmaceutical industry.